Hi, you ever find a plant and you want to know what it is? Stay tuned. We'll help you with that. Hi, this is Randy from Cobb Talks, and uh, we're here to help you learn new things and envision possible futures that you might not have known existed. This is our first episode, so a little bit of background is probably in order. Uh, my name is Randy, and I'm from City Bridges High School, and we are a high school and a learning community in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we believe that human beings learn best when they're able to do real work with real people. So when we're physically in school, our students work with educators, but they also work with professionals. They work with lawyers and artists and nonprofit executive directors, activists, all kinds of people so that they can see the knowledge, skills, and understanding that they can then apply to their possible futures. Now, with the coronavirus outbreak and us moving to a virtual model online, one of the questions we asked ourselves was, how can we give back? How can we help? How can we share? And we're a learning organization and we're all about bringing together people who have knowledge and understanding and skills and people who want to learn about that knowledge, those understandings and those skills. So we decided to launch Cobb Talks. And the idea is we will bring you some professionals who will share something that they know how to do, uh, whatever that might happen to be. And there'll really be two goals there. One, hopefully you'll have some fun and you'll learn something new. Two, you will get a chance to see some different possible futures. I know when I was in high school, there were like 10 things you could be when you grew up. A doctor, a lawyer, a business person. Uh, and then in fact, when you grow up, you discover that there's an infinite number of things that you can do. So in addition to learning something new and having a little bit of fun, hopefully you will also get to see these possible futures, things that you might not have known could have been things you could do. So that's our goal and we'll be coming to you uh, each week, maybe more than each week, with some exciting new knowledge, some new skills, and some new understandings from some professionals. And then, if you're into what they're doing, uh, we can make some connections, run some live streams, uh, some Q&As, put some resources out there. Really, the goal is to share learning for all of us who are sitting at home, uh, eager to learn, and then to share the knowledge that we have for those of us who have those uh, things at home that we want to share out with you. So uh, stay tuned as this adventure develops. Uh, I'm really excited today. Uh, we are joined by someone who can help us identify what those plants are, and that's Paul Wigman. Paul um, is a naturalist and former vice president uh, for science and stewardship for the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy. And he has spent his career exploring, learning, and educating others about the diverse natural history of Western Pennsylvania. He's also a photographer and a writer, and there's a link below uh, to his blog. Click below to subscribe to receive more videos, uh, and if you have things you want to learn about or things you want to share, leave us a note in the comments below. Okay. We're going to use a key, a dichotomous key, to identify a wildflower that we have here on the screen since we don't have any wildflowers blooming at the time. What we need to do is answer several questions about the flower and the key which you see right here in the front of the book. These are the questions. These three questions get answered about that plant. Okay, let's start with the flower. And the first question is the flower type. And it wants to know how many parts are, does the flower have. We'll take the petals. Here's the petals. And it has one. Let me make it a little bit bigger. One, two, three petals. Okay, so I take that. Yes, three petals. Then I go to the plant type. And it's a wildflower. It's not a shrub or a vine, but it's a wildflower. And it has whorled leaves. If you look at the leaves, let's go back a little bit and go to this other one. All three of them come out of the same place on the stem of the plant. That's a whorl of leaves. The, op the other categories would be having a leaf here and a leaf here, which would be alternate 
or having a leaf and only one other leaf here which is alternate or uh, opposite so we have world leaves so we go back here opposite or world leaves and that gives us a four now we want to know about the shape of the leaf or really about the edge of the leaf there's four categories and if we look at these leaves they have a nice smooth edge there's no teeth or irregularities along that edge that's an entire leaf not toothed not divided and not without leaves but an entire leaf which gives us a two so we have a 342 then we go to this the locator key in the book and we look at the group number and our group number is 342 there's the 200s here's the 300s 342 wildflowers with world leaves and the page would be 124. 124. Let's go then in the book, the wildflower guide to 124, and there are the various flowers that have world leaves and they are entire and they are wildflowers. And this is the group here. Then you have to look down through the list and you find that the flowers are stockless. Well, that's not the case. These flowers have stalks on them. How about the flower stalk is horizontal or bent downward? Well, obviously not. It's standing straight up. Flower stalk erect or ascending. Well, that's what it has. So now it comes down to two different kinds of, two, two different species of plants. One is the large flower trillium. Two is the wake robin or red trillium. The wild, the large flower trillium, the flowers are showy, funnel shaped, and they're white. Showy, funnel shaped, and white. So this particular plant must be a large flowered trillium, trillium grandiflor. It would have been just as easy to go up here and look at the name that's right up here on the, the edge of the thing that says trillium grandiflor. I hope you enjoyed hearing from Paul today. If you want to receive more Cobb Talks, click the subscribe button. Uh, feel free to check out the City of Bridges Instagram page. And also, if there are things that you want to know more about, if there are topics you'd like to learn about, leave us a comment below. Or if you have some knowledge, skills, and understanding that you want to share, let us know, uh, and we'd love to get you on here. Thanks.